Hey guys, it's uh, Brother Paul here. Um, here to share a dream and a message I received on February 21st from who I believe is our Lord and Savior. And this was received in a dream. And I think you'll understand what the message is trying to say here. So I, uh, I was talking to God many nights about how I was done and I was ready to, I want to go home and I'm feeling burnt out and everybody around me in every area of my life is under attack and the believers, I mean. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to help a lot of people with their walk with God and uh, this seems to be a real spirit of the Antichrist around everywhere now. So I was taking it to the Lord and saying like, you know, when are we going? What's going to happen? You know, I'm sure we're all saying the same prayer. So this was the answer that God gave me. So I received this on February 21st. I don't remember what time I woke up, but uh, I'll just go right into it. <clears throat> I saw people I knew organizing a wedding. And while they were doing this, I was in my parents' house, which was my father's house. And there was a woman trying very, very hard to get me to strike for some pictures. And she kept saying, strike a happy pose. She kept saying this over and over again. And then I looked outside and I saw my wife's family outside in the cemetery. So for those who follow my channel, you know I've, I've said this in the past. I grew up you know, behind my backyard was a cemetery beside a school. So for me growing up, I was not afraid of cemeteries. But in a dream... I could see that my wife's family was in the cemetery and I went to see what was going on. When I got inside the cemetery, I looked around to my left and my right and I saw a lot of individual um, uh, graves that had a white rose on them. And these graves were all made of cement. And I just found that interesting that there was a white rose on each and every one of them. So I, I looked to my side and I saw my father-in-law and he was preparing things for this wedding but he was doing it in the cemetery and I looked down on the ground and I noticed to my right that the ground was very it looked burnt like a chemical spill if you ever if you ever seen the way a fire uh, rolls over out of a fire pit onto the ground it like chars the ground and it was mud and there was no grass and it just looked very burnt and I heard a voice ask me to accept I didn't know where this voice was coming from but I asked I heard a voice ask accept this vow and swear by it and in my spirit I heard do not take this vow and do not swear by an earthly wedding and that was the end of the dream so the words that I looked I, I looked up uh, I think there was seven or eight words and I'm going to say them and I'm going to read the scriptures to go with it. And I want you to pay very close attention because I'm going to read them all in a row. And the story of these scriptures is what the answer and the message that God was trying to give me to give to the world. So wedding was Matthew 25, 10. And while they went to buy, the groomsmen came and they were ready, went in with him into the marriage and the door was shut. Father's house was number two. That was a Luke 2.49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Why is ye, ye not that I must be about my father's business? Number three was cemetery. 1 Thessalonians 4.16. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Number four was graves, John John twelve forty eight, and he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath not that that judge, judges him, and the word that I have spoken the same shall judge him in the last day. Number five was white rose. White rose was the song of Solomon two one, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. Number six was burnt ground, which is a Malachi 4.1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all 
of the proud, yea, and all of the wicked shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Now, number seven was interesting because I, I, I had to look up vow and swear. So, number seven for vow was in Ecclesiastes uh, 4, 5, 6. The fool foldeth his hands together and saith, eateth his own flesh. Better is an handful of quietness than both hands full of travail and vexation of the spirit. And 7b was swear, which was a James 5.12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yeas be yea and your nays be yea, lest ye fall into condemnation. Now, I prayed about this for a couple of days before putting this video out. And basically, the Holy Spirit, actually, not basically, I know for a fact that Holy Spirit was telling me this message to share it to everybody. People are making their decisions now. <clears throat> if you pay close attention to what's been happening since after the pandemic, people are choosing their side. You have all your friends and family that are so unhappy in spirit and they're seeking all these earthly pleasures now and anything that they can find a way to make themselves feel better. And it's in an earthly, fleshly way. And those of us that are looking up and we're only worrying about what's number one, it's God. That's what we're concentrating on. So God says, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on Jesus and finish your race. These are the message. This is the message the Lord gave me to give to all of you. He hears you. He knows you're going through tough times. He loves you more than you can know. And none of us, no matter how much we try, we cannot imagine the treasures he has waiting for us. I say this, my friends. I'm feeling exactly like you are. I love you. Our God loves us more than we can ever imagine. Be, be, be strong. Stand your ground. We're going to work through this. And for those of us who have the discernment, and we pray, you know, as much as we can, we know something's around the corner. So please hang in there. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.